I would like to thank Caressa Me Knight for sending me this story. And to be honest, I wasn't going to do this story because I found no interest in it whatsoever until I actually read the story and said, this just is going to open up a whole nother can of worms. As a matter of fact, it might open Pandora's box. But if you don't know who this woman is in this picture, this is Kate Hudson. She is pretty much a world renowned actress. Um, if you're not really familiar with her, you should know who her mother is, especially if you were born, um, in a certain generation, her mother is Goldie Hawn, who is also another, uh, famous world renowned actress as well. But I'm not on here to talk about her acting career by far. She has basically said that she wants to have her firstborn daughter because she has three children, two boys, and now she just gave birth to a girl and she said neutral or something before and i think that's real popular overseas where they basically don't identify their child or themselves as a certain gender it just has an x next to it so they don't identify 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 as a man or a woman male or female they just they're just there so this is going to be very very confusing to the child as they get older i just have the biggest feeling that's what it's going to be well let me go ahead and read this article because there was something else that uh, that also stuck out to me as well when it comes to this it says actress kate hudson revealed in a new interview that she is raising her baby daughter rainy rose to be genderless saying we still don't know what she's going to identify as Hudson, who welcomed Rainy Rose with boyfriend Danny Fujikawa last October, is also the mom to two sons aged 14 and 7 from previous relationships. But Rainy Rose is her first daughter. When asked in a new interview with AOL if having a daughter was different than raising her boys, the Almost Famous star said it doesn't really change my approach, but there's definitely a difference. I think you just raise your kids individually regardless, like a genderless approach, she added. Hudson continued, I will say that right now, she's incredibly feminine in her energy, her sounds and her way is very different from the boys, and it's really fun to actually want to buy kids clothes. Raising a child to be genderless is not just a Hollywood fad. More and more American families have been trying the approach in recent years. In December, experts told GMA that there have been a recent surge in popularity for gender neutral names. Okay. One thing that really stuck out to me in this um, story is that she waited until she had a daughter to implement this genderless thing. So my thing is this. You're doing this with your daughter. Why didn't you just go ahead and do it with your sons as well? And when your daughter gets of age or anything like that, and she's going to ask, why isn't her brothers identifying as such and such? Why are they identifying as boys? And you have me identifying as a genderless person when clearly she's a girl. This. Now, now I see why I didn't really want to do this story, but it's like I felt like I had to talk about this. All I have to say is this. To us outsiders, if you have children, identify them as the gender that they were born as. If it's blue, it's a boy. If it's pink, it's a girl. I don't want to get too graphic on here because we're talking about kids. But you know what I mean when I say that. And it's funny because she says she wants her child to be genderless, but she rated to choose to do this with a girl. And, you know, with a girl, they go through a lot of phases, especially when they're going through that puberty stage. And then you got to think about this, their development stage when they have that monthly cycle. A genderless person can't have a cycle. A genderless person doesn't take trips to the gynecologist. A genderless person doesn't get pregnant. And all the other things that a woman will, what a girl transitioning to a woman will have to go through. So this whole thing about raising genderless kids, it just, for me, in my opinion, just falls on deaf ears. And it's just going to further confuse the child. But I, what I'm noticing is, is that you're having a lot of white families are doing this. I haven't really seen any black families or any other families outside of white people actually do something like this. But let me tell you right now, 
Don't think that they won't try to implement something where they're trying to ram this down our throats and say that, you know what, you should let your child choose what they want to be. If they want to be a girl, even though they were clearly born a boy, let them be a girl or let them be a boy. If you know they were clearly born to be a girl, basically they're what they're doing is they're giving their child all of this power that they don't need at such a young age to choose what they want to be. And like I said, it's only going to lead down to a road of confusion because not everybody is going to adopt to this genderless lifestyle thing. So what you're going to have. So what's going to end up happening when your daughter has to go to the bathroom or the restroom? They have a men's room and they have a women's room. They don't have a genderless room. So what is she going to do? Is she going to pee in a cup outside before going into the store or what? Like because they don't have a thing called a genderless restroom. Like, you really need to think this through.